it out. It is Vegas time, baby. And I am pulling up to uh, Bishop right now. Mammoth was pretty freaking awesome. It was a good time. My challenge at the moment is gonna be the truck. It is filthy dirty, but luckily I found out my check-in is not noon. It is actually at 4 p.m. So I have time. This is from Mammoth to Vegas. So I'm on the 168. It's just a very narrow road, but huge canyons. Pretty cool. Okay, bye now. to follow these big ass trucks. two days before SEMA. So I have my exhibitor pass I finally got, and I am pretty much cruising around and, and learning where everything is from West Hall to South Hall to North Hall to, this place is freaking huge. It's insanity. And the guy with the, there's this loop ride thing that they have here to get you to all the gates. And the guy was telling me how there's gonna be 50 to 100, 150 people waiting to, to just get in. So this show is gonna be I'm super excited. I'm headed back over to the 5th gen at the moment and I'm going to check on it. Make sure it's still shiny. No one's touched it. Get my sunglasses and check this out. Already a bunch of other trucks here. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah. what I fell into or bumped look what I bumped into Toyota them setting up their whole display they're missing the mammoth they need it right here front center so I have been exploring SEMA all day it's still the 30th, so we saw one more day before opening day, but it's been pretty cool to see the behind the scenes, everyone setting up and just seeing how much really goes into setting a show up like this. Right next to him, a team motor group. 
double job with the Gold. It was one of the situations of the year. The uh, trainers turned out in gloves. guys so there you have it that was SEMA I hope you all enjoyed the video um, I am waiting right now to get the hell out of SEMA it looks like a big shit show because there's people walking everywhere and there's trucks trying to drive everywhere um, but it looks like they're all headed to what they call the ignite unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to be a part of that um, I have to get home it's about a five hour five and a half hour drive for me so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Um, the show was amazing. It was so cool. So I'm so grateful to be a part of this. Thank you to Alpha Rex uh, for inviting me out here and being a featured vehicle. Uh, next year, I hope to be in their booth, if not <laughs> someone else's booth. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. This was a big trip, and um, I just saw the coolest builds, coolest things. Um, I think the truck fit in pretty well. People seem to be pretty stoked on the. Uh, the rooftop tent and everything I, I did with the uh, with the truck. So shout out to 4x4 Colorado and to Taruka Awnings. Um, everyone loved it. Everyone dug it. Uh, shout out to Wicked Creations. Their long travel kit got a ton of um, attention and just how wide the kit is with a five inch wide on 37. So shout out to Nitto. Thank you to Nitto Pit Crew. Um, took us all out to dinner last night. We got barbecue. Um, just overall, such a great show uh, great people you meet so many people in this community that share the same passion as all of us and man it just I'm, I'm stoked to be a part of it and stoked to finally be able to come to the biggest show which is SEMA so anyway I hope you guys all enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe um, and check out all the social media platforms that uh, I have TikTok Instagram YouTube all the above guys so anyway peace out thank you